So I'm curious. I, I played this for you moments ago. Yeah. And considering what is going on in the age of COVID weirdness, yeah. what was your, your reaction to it? I felt even better about what we were doing. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, with that, let's listen to Roy Williams. We will hear a little bit of Penny at the end of this, but um, this is a short clip from our interview with Roy and Penny. Past yes. the fearsome five, which is usually where we end it, but I forgot I wanted to ask about someone. Don Quixote. Okay. Don Quixote in Western culture, the first novel, the first meaningful novel, 1605. And every literary device that is currently used or has ever been used was debuted in Don Quixote de la Mancha by Miguel de Cervantes. There is even metafiction when fictional characters become aware of that they, the fact that they are fictional. We don't actually exist. We are the construct of the mind of our creator. And his love story, when Don Quixote is attracted to Dulcinea, the anima, the, the perfect woman that can only exist in the imagination of a man, it ends happily. They never meet. She is never aware of his existence. But everything he does and everything he accomplishes is, is in her name and for her honor. Shakespeare, who died in the same hour, like Thomas Jefferson and John Adams. Shakespeare, the most celebrated voice in the history of English literature, died in the same hour, on the same day of the same year of Miguel de Cervantes, the most celebrated voice in the history of Spanish literature. But all of Shakespeare's love stories ended tragically, and Cervantes' only love story ended magically. And so I'm attracted to Cervantes because, like the wise men of Matthew chapter 2, if you've ever seen Man of La Mancha, uh, the, the play that was made, it's a, it's a play that doesn't really follow the book, but it's a good play about Don Quixote. Man of La Mancha, the impossible dream. This is my quest to follow that star, no matter how... Hopeless. No, no matter how far, far, yeah. To fight for the right without question or pause, to be willing to fight. The idea is that there's a thing worth pursuing, even if it makes no sense. There's a, there's a beauty worth fighting for, even if there's no hope of actually achieving it. 